I've entitled my message this evening One plus one Is equal to Is equal to One plus one Is equal to One Some people are saying one Some are saying two Somebody also said one plus one is two. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Then we will get the rare definition of the two from the Bible. Are you getting the revelation? Yes. Quickly open up your Bibles. Open up your Bibles. Let us go to Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Verse 9 to 12. But before then, let us quickly read something from Psalm 1 3 3. Psalm 1 33, verse 1. Psalm 1 33, verse 1. Let us quickly read something from there. God richly bless you. In spite of the rain, you are here. Oh. You didn't clap for yourself. Amen. Oh, this clapping is too weak. I want you to understand this night. The one plus one. So that when you stand up to pray as a child of God, you will understand the revelation behind the one plus one. And you will learn how to pray and how to make it profitable to your life. I am not hearing your amen. Amen. Your amen is so something else. Amen. Are you guessing it? Yes, please. Now listen to this. What? one is equal to some people are still saying one oh. you your most teachers will beat you because one plus one is equal to two so we are here to understand the word two so that we can understand why the two has to move together you didn't get the revelation amen the worst thing anybody can do to you in life is to deprive you of your helper. Each and every one of us is destined to meet a destiny helper. These are blessings that God, in his own mercy, he gives unto his children freely. He understands our journeys and he understands what we will be going through. So even before we were born, our helpers were already made. You didn't hear me. So you cannot roam about on this earth empty without a helper, empty without a supporter, empty without somebody who will comfort you, empty without somebody who will console you. What am I trying to think? And what am I trying to make this night? As a child of God, you have to understand the revelation behind the number two in your life. You want to marry. But what does the two even do in my life? And what does it stand for? Why do I need the two? Do I need the two because I just have to marry? Or I need the two for something that God really initiated? Let's get on the board. Psalm 133 verse 1 says, Behold, David, behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. Are you getting it? Brothers dwelling in unity simply means it is 
good for two to move together. It is good for us to have somebody in our lives. It is very good. It is very important. It is very initial that you have somebody in your life. That is why today I am praying for somebody that anyone that is here that somebody is refusing you your extra one. Oh, let them catch fire. Amen. You didn't hear me. Amen. Are you getting the revelation? The two will come in and then make things easy for your life. God understands unity. That is why in the Garden of Eden, after all his creation, he didn't say that I have finished everything. But rather what he said was, it is now time for me to make sure I add something to the man so that the man can take very good care of the garden that I have created. So the number two is very, very important. If anybody deprives you of somebody that can help your life, the person has killed you. That is why as a child of God, when you get to a certain stage, when you get to a certain age, you have to be prayerful. You become prayerful not because you just have to pray. You have to be prayerful so that all those that God has aligned, the destiny helpers, all those that have good things to benefit your life, you will profit from them. And today I am praying for somebody that after today, may you be able to add your one plus one. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So that you can receive your two. Amen. And the two will be profitable for you. Yes. Your amen is so weak for my life. Amen. Let's get to Ecclesiastes. 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 Chapter 4. Verse 9 to 12. Christiasis chapter 4 verse 9 to 12 let's read something from the book the bible says two are better than one and this goes deeper into what I'm saying already the two is better than one so you are not wrong that today you are praying God grant me marriage and you are never wrong that you are praying God do something about my marriage you are not wrong that you are praying Father my marriage is delaying why? because two are better than one thank you Jesus and why did the Bible say that two are better than one why? because they have a good reward for the actor. In other words, when God joins two people together, the result is what the union produces. The result is the reward and the glory of God. And that is the main reason why he decided to join two people together so that they can produce spiritual results physical results you didn't hear me amen hey. yeah. are you getting the revelation when to produce the physical results those are children establishing businesses establishing so many things together or see and they shall receive a good reward together why because it took the two of them to make something then in other words so god is trying to tell us if two decides to do something 
the power of God, the ability of God, the spirit of God, eh, the presence of God begins to rest upon those people. Why? Because the two has decided to do something. Today I pray for you. Man. May you not just get a wife. May you not just get a husband. But rather may you get a husband that will produce a good result with you. Amen. Receive it. I receive. You didn't clap for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible says, their results, their results, their results, their results shall be good. Their reward shall be awesome. Let's move to the next verse. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. If they fall in life, it is possible for us all at a point in life to stumble. And the Bible says that when one falls, the other person will pick the other one that has fallen up. Meaning to say, when one is added onto your life, your life becomes comfortable. And these are some of the reasons why the devil don't want us to be joined together. Because he hated. When two people are joined together, they are able to help themselves. When one falls, one picks them up. When one is weak, one prays for the person. When one is sick, one prays for the person. When one is in problem, one prays for the person. Are you getting the revelation? So the devil is fighting all corners to stop marriages from manifesting. Why? So that the number two will not be possible. But today I pray for you. Your you number two, wherever that it is, if it is in this room, then may it manifest. Amen. If your number two is in abroad, Jesus. I pray for your manifestation. Amen. Receive For Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He says, If they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone. Meaning that if you're walking in this life alone and you don't have anybody that will pull you up when you fall, that will pray for you when you are sick. That will help you when you need it. Woe to you. Why? Because you've been struggling all alone. And these are the captivities that the enemy has put in so many of us into. How is it possible that a man would date a lady all of a sudden everything would just crumble? They have even finished buying their engagement dresses. They have bought everything. All of a sudden, the marriage just collapsed. Mm. We all didn't know where it came from. We don't understand. Father, how did this happen? Woe to him that walks alone because when he falls, that is why your marriage is your priority. You have to make your marriage a prayer point. You have to make your marriage life a prayer for life. So that you can benefit from your marriage. Because the devil knows this secret. That the essence of the two is for us to support ourselves. You didn't hear me. Amen. Right, he 
he decided that even those that he will allow them to marry they have to go through a whole lot of tribulations so today so many people are married that they have regretted ever even marrying knows that when one falls, one will pick them up. So there have been manipulations everywhere. Against husbands, against wives. And because of that, some of the youth are even afraid now to settle down. Because of what they see every day. That is why today I am praying for somebody. Amen. She will not live here the same. Amen. Your number two is locating you. Amen. I don't know who came here to pick the two. Yes. But if you come here to pick the two now, receive it. I receive. Now let's continue. <laughs> let's get to verse 11. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm at home? In other words, he wanted to us to understand that. When even two sleep together, they are able to warm themselves up. Amen. Thank you. Hey! So I can see the harm that the devil is causing in your life. Amen. From your father's house. Jesus. I cast that curse. Amen. I cast that curse. Amen. I cast it. Amen. God bless you. When two sleep together, they will warm themselves. They will do all their stuff. They will do everything. Wow. Because they have the lances. Amen. To do all the stuff. Amen. They get the certificates. Yes. To do everything. Amen. Today so I pray for your certificates. Ah, amen. Let me tell you something. Somebody just wants to steal your joy. But we will not allow them. Amen. Somebody just wants to rob you. Amen. But we will not allow them. Amen. Because we have understood the revelation. Yes. That one plus one is equal to two. Yes. The two must manifest. Amen. Wherever your number two is. Mm. By fire, by thunder. Amen. I speak as a prophet. Jesus. As a voice I draw. Amen. I release your number two. Amen. I release your number Amen. I release your number two. Amen. I release your number two. Thank you, Jesus. Receive us. I receive. Shout my number two. My number two. Thank you, Jesus. And I ask myself. What is the spiritual meaning of the number two? And I googled from the spiritual book of this story. And I came to understand Amen. that the number two means that a destiny so far. Amen. Now listen. If anybody robs you of your destiny supporter, it is like now I want to get down. But because somebody is holding my hand, I can get down flexibly. Are you getting it? Yes. But because nobody is holding my hand, mm. if I want to get down, this is how it will be like. Hey, I'm falling down. Oh. I can't see you. Oh. Hey, something must. Are you getting the revelation? Please. Your supporter is on the way. Amen. Your number two must not be hidden. Amen. Wherever that your number two is. 
Jesus. Amen. I prophesy. Amen. May they come out to support you. Beauty. May they come out to support you. Amen. May they come out to support you. Amen. May they come to support you. Amen. I pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever your number two is. Amen. Number one. Amen. Number one. Amen. Number one. Amen. Number one. Amen. Number two. Amen. Wherever they are. Oh yes, Lord. May they manifest by fire. Ah. The next two days, the phone I go off for a week. And to that week, you know, first cook. Sad and I'm in him say, Yeah, you cook. And to me, buy and I miss my pier for toy and I'm in one. I made the air bottom. And to the be I mean, no, sad and I'm crying. No, I'm a cash and they say, Yame. Arrest the lady, baby, be around. Wherever I see, yes. Don't arrest her. Hey! Missy not even a person, but Kanoko. It's a maker, sir. Night, sir, will be a rummy, a what die will. Not just a summer, no one pioneer. Now, go to the person, what's yes, yes, sir. A summer, what canoe? One way, right there. What's that, sir? Baby, be around. Me bump up here, and I'm trying the number. Enko. Until last week, me woha na me friend the number and I call him. So, madam, me ba o sto o na winu ho. O ba na kanja me se dabi. O si you. Me se 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 a na me si kane. O si o me de ba ma. Me se I have arrested you already. Hey! Until the next few days, me woha na me hu. Mr. Kano, including amounts I will be withdrawn at Rua Sikano. What the 
Can you wave your hands? I'm in Sharlatan. I know I can see. I'm a 
encourage you child of God keep watching us every day and God will bless your life this ministry is located in Sunyani Esufufu if you want any information you can pick the numbers on the screen and call us for further details but I want you to understand that we are also on social media you can locate Overcomers Palace in social media Facebook and then uh, YouTube too we have Pastor BB you can search us there and Facebook Overcomers Palace if you search Overcomers Palace you will watch us and then also Pastor Becky Boama Ministries on Facebook you will get us there God richly bless you watch us same time every day <laughs>